the one that we've all been waiting for to kid since she was taking forever just her sweet little time is a uh, hot stuff hot stuff she kid it overnight and now we've got two beautiful little little babies healthy and uh, they're up walking around as you can see they are doing very good and it's all due to their mamas because this is one extremely good mother you know all those first time babies that we had or first time uh, moms that we had they weren't taken to their kids very well we had to uh, you know milk the mom to get them the colostrum that they needed the kids needed and uh, it worked out okay but you know she's the type of mom that we're looking for in our herds so as you can see she's already calling her baby to come get some milk and she kitted two females and guess what her last kidding she kitted two females as well so um, she's doing extremely well we're extremely pleased with her we want her in our herd there they go getting some milk So the reason she's kicking right now is because there's a bunch of flies. It's fly season, which is ridiculous. I hate flies with a passion. But hot stuff is doing good. She's got a really good bag on her. And uh, she's producing milk for these little kids. Uh, she always has. Uh, I'll show you guys her, her last offspring. The two females that we have from her, they're extremely healthy and they are doing pretty pretty good so this is one of them they're twins you can see that looks just like hot stuff she's very healthy she looks good she looks just like her mama and then that other one over there there she is she looks just like her mama as well she's very healthy So yeah, we uh, had a successful kidding last night from her. We bought her pre-bred, um, pre-exposed to a uh, to a New Zealand uh, buck named Patriot. Well, that's not his full name, but um, that's what they call him. Uh, and uh, he's a beautiful buck, beautiful buck. So she was bred to to Patriot producing these little kids we're gonna send off some paperwork they're going to be 94% uh, so uh, what that means is they are considered purebred but whenever uh, so like New Zealand means that they are 100% so you have like the whole breed up program where you have a New Zealand buck which is 100% Kiko because that's where they're from and then you have um, you have like say a commercial doe well if you have your buck since he's 50% of your herd and he's 50% of the kids you can breed him up so if you have a New Zealand buck and a commercial doe then you have uh, if they breed and have a, a kid 
that kid's going to be 50%. You can register at 50%. And then say you take that doe and you breed it to a, the 50% doe and you breed it to a uh, New Zealand, another New Zealand buck, and they have another kid. That kid is now 75%. And so on and so forth, all the way up to 94%. But you can never get, you can never breed up to 100% New Zealand Kiko. New Zealand is direct lineage from goats that are 100% from New Zealand and uh, New Zealand breed. So that's kind of the lineage, that's how it kind of works, if that makes any sort of sense to you guys. It kind of makes me nervous, those, those uh, umbilical cords, you know, hitting the ground. As you can see, it's kind of dragging the ground. Sometimes you can cut it. But we dip ours in iodine. Like I said before guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, stay updated on new videos. Pretty soon I'll be finishing up the, the second episode of our garden, uh, which is gonna be really cool. I'm just waiting on the drone footage to kind of switch over to my iPad. Um, Cause the iPad for some reason changed their charging cable and I can't hook it up to the drone remote. So I'm kind of at a standstill right now. Wow, we got a storm rolling in. We're at a standstill right now on the drone footage, so we'll figure it out. But, alright guys, we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.